into, what will be the most important fight of your career? Yeah, definitely. It's important to be active. So if anything, it's worked out better for me. I'm getting a fight in and then I'm going to fight him then in June if that's when it's happening. But um, yeah, the main thing is getting, getting active. If I wasn't still fighting, I'd be very annoyed. But the fact is I'm still fighting. So thank you to yourself and 258 and everyone involved for making that happen. Well, hopefully you come through on Saturday night. I'm sure you will. And then we make the big one in June. We'll look forward to it. A fight that could potentially steal the show is the English title fight between Michael Gomez Jr. and Kane Baker on Saturday night. Both fighters always in all action fights. Kane, we'll start with you. Welcome. Um, it's a massive fight for you. I mean, you've paid your dues. You're now in what many see as a 50-50 fight. I'm sure Michael won't agree, but we should get a great fight between you and Michael Gomez to kickstart the broadcast on Saturday night. 100%. Uh... I think our styles are going to gel. Fantastic and crowd pleasing fight, 100% non stop engines and punching. <laughs> and that's what we want. I've seen you train harder than you've ever trained for this fight. I've seen you out in Mexico on random sparring trips as well, taking it very seriously now. The career has really evolved from, you know, someone that was slung in the deep end early to a guy that became a little bit of a journeyman, yeah. the guy that became a contender, the guy that started potentially winning championships as well. Is it just the experiences of the styles and the nights that you've had that, that put you in this kind of position now? Yeah, definitely the experiences and being a late starter in boxing, and I've learned on the job a lot of it and, uh, and I've took some tough experiences but it, I think it's made me a better fight and it's all prepared me for Saturday to uh, become the English champion so I'm, I'm happy. Mexico there was no tacos, no tequila, just sparring and uh, yeah it's all going to show on Saturday night. It's going to be a great show and, and great atmosphere as well, you're bringing a few up with you I know. Always, the Barmy Brummies are always there. And Michael Gomez, big ticket seller, Massive. Re ready for war on Saturday night. 100%, put us in a firm box and let's go. Michael, welcome. Um, this is going to be a great fight, you two. Um, I know you don't see it as a 50-50 fight, but I'm sure you respect Kane. He always brings it every time. Big support from you. English title defence, ready to go in Manchester on Saturday night. Yeah, first of all, shout out to yourself. Matt Jim, the zone manager, Kevin, me for putting me on on Saturday. Can't wait, mate. No, let's go. Nothing else to say. Crazy fans, ready for the experience. Everybody's ready, mate. From the first bell, it's going off, mate. It's going off. As this, long as it lasts, it's going to be fun. This man, don't take a step back right in front of you. Well, he can only go to the ropes anyway. There's not going to be any further to go. We're only going to be head to head or on the ropes. There's nowhere else to go. I'm going to be in his face and somebody's getting hurt. You fancy this fight inside the distance? Well, one of us are getting stopped. It could be me. I'm not, going to be, I'm not stupid and saying it can't be. But one of us are getting stopped and more than likely it's going to be him. Well, I can't wait to see it. Michael Gomez against Kane Baker for the English title on Saturday night. The first of our World Championship fights on Saturday night is a cracker. A tremendous story, as Will said earlier. Rhiannon Dixon looking to become a world champion from up the road in Warrington. It's a massive step up for her after winning Commonwealth and European Championships against Karen Carabajal, who we saw, of course, fight Katie Taylor, give her a great fight, take rounds off her as well at Wembley Arena. And a huge opportunity for both fighters in the lightweight division to capture the WBO world title. Karen, welcome. Uh, Kieran here is to translate as well. Welcome back to the UK. Massive opportunity for you to become world champion on Saturday. In first place, Karen, bienvenida de nuevo aquí. Estás aquí de nuevo en estas tierras en Reino Unido. Una oportunidad enorme para convertirte en campeona del mundo el sábado por la noche. Sí, bueno, muchas gracias por la oportunidad. La verdad que estoy muy feliz de esta nueva chance y, y nada, nos venimos preparando un montón para, para esta oportunidad, así que estamos listos para, para la pelea. Yeah, so first and foremost, I want to say thank you for this opportunity to once again have this chance to fight for a world title. And we're completely ready for this, this opportunity. We've been preparing extremely hard and we're totally ready for this fight on Saturday night. Three victories since the defeat to Katie Taylor. Must have been an incredible learning experience. A fight that you were competitive in as well. You believe you'll be victor victorious on Saturday night? Sí, tres victorias desde la pelea que tuviste con Katie Taylor. Supongo que fue un aprendizaje enorme para ti, pero totalmente preparado para llevarte la victoria el sábado por la noche. Sí, la pelea con Katie Taylor, la verdad que, que me hizo sentirme con más seguridad, ¿no? con la oportunidad... Eh, de poder disputar un título mundial eh, es algo nuevo para nosotros, pero estamos contentos, seguros, eh, 
preparados y, y bueno, haber salido del país ¿no? eh, y enfrentarme a Katy Taylor fue eh, lo que necesitábamos para darnos cuenta que estamos en, en el nivel y con la oportunidad de, de poder eh, ganar y, y tener un, una posibilidad por título en el mundo. Eh, bueno, ahora llegó y estamos muy contentos y preparados eh, con ganas de, de que llegue el momento. Yeah, so it was a, a great opportunity to, to come here and fight uh, Katie Taylor for that world title. You know, it was almost an opportunity that was new to us, but it made us extremely sure that we belong at this level. You know, going away from our own country to, to fight Katie Taylor was a, for this world title was a fight we needed. And, you know, and we're really prepared and hunger uh, to go and have the experience again and, and to do well on Saturday. Thank you, Kieran. Thank you, Karen. Rhiannon, ready to go. Some story, some ride, so quick. This has all evolved, you know, victory in Liverpool for the Commonwealth title, in London for the European title as well. The belts become vacant at 1.35 in the deep end on Saturday night, ready to become world champion. Yeah, I'm really excited for it and I can't thank you enough. You know, you took a risk on a girl from White Collar. I was a pharmacist at the time and I'm going to repay the favour on Saturday and show you that, you know, I, I belong at this level. That belief has been important, but something that's really grown in you over the last couple of fights. You've proved that you're at this level, but it is a step beyond that on Saturday night. Good victories for the Commonwealth and European, but this is a true world-level fight on Saturday. Yeah, definitely. I think confidence was a massive thing when me and Anthony got together. He obviously believed in me and it was just me believing in myself. And you can see from like my walkouts, like I actually cringe at myself. It's so embarrassing. I'll do it this Saturday as well. Um, but no, I, I know I'm at this level and I can't wait to show it and bring the world title back to Warrington. Obviously, becoming a world champion is one thing, but the fights that could present themselves beyond that, life-changing, in that respect. Of course, Beatrice Ferreira goes for the world title in a couple of weeks' time. Caroline Dubois looking to fight for the world title. You know, Katie Taylor fluctuating between lightweight and light welterweight. Talks of Terry Harper coming back to 135. I know you're focused on Saturday, but the opportunities, if you come through, will be endless. Oh, yeah, definitely. And I'm excited for them opportunities as well. But like with women's boxing, you don't know who's going where. Like, girls go up loads of ways, come down. So, no, I'm excited. You know, get the win on Saturday and see what opportunities are there after that. Well, great fight for the WBO lightweight world championship. Rhiannon Dixon against Karen Carabajal, as is this fight, one of the top fights in women's boxing that I think can be made. Ellie Scottney against Segolene Leboeuf for the WBO and the IBF Super Bantamweight World Championships. We're seeing time and time again that the female fighters are stepping up into the big fights in unification fights as soon as possible. And when we sat down with Ellie after she won the World Championship, the aim was become undisputed as soon as possible. Mercado and Cruz on the other side of the unification puzzle. But this Saturday, a big step up for Ellie Scottney against the 18-0 WBO World Champion. Segaline, welcome. Um, this is a fight that you've wanted, your team's wanted. Lee Eaton's been plaguing me for this fight. You seem very confident going into what will be a great fight on Saturday. Bienvenue, Ségolene. Bienvenue en Angleterre. Évidemment, c'est un grand événement ce samedi. Lee Eaton nous a autant troublé pour organiser ce match. Nous imaginons que pour vous, ça va être une grande confrontation samedi. Merci de m'accueillir en Angleterre. Je suis très heureuse d'être ici parce que l'Angleterre, c'est un grand pays de boxe. Matchroom, c'est un très grand événement connu mondialement. Ça va être un très, très gros combat. Je suis très heureuse de pouvoir unifier la ceinture. Donc, on va, on va donner le maximum pour repartir avec les deux ceintures à la maison. Uh, yeah, well, thanks to you, Eddie, and to England, uh, the welcome here. Um, it's obviously a big um, boxing country, the UK, and I'm delighted to be here in Matchroom, obviously uh, known throughout the world. I'm delighted to be here and to have this opportunity to uni unify the fight, and there's no question in my mind I'm not here to surrender my belt. Uh, my plan is to take both belts back with me to France on Sunday. I saw in an interview you said there's only one person that wins this fight by stoppage, on Saturday. Ellie is all action as well. Is that the kind of fight that you're expecting, an all action fight between you two for both belts? J'ai entendu dans les interviews d'hier qu'il y aurait qu'une seule gagnant et par chaos aussi en Ellie. Vous le voyez comme ça, vous imaginez que ce serait un chaos, mais de votre part? Le plus important, c'est la victoire. Si le chaos y vient, c'est très bien, c'est même mieux. 
Mais l'important, c'est de gagner. Et je vais faire euh, voir ce que c'est une Française sur un ring en Angleterre. Well, the win is the win, and that's the objective. If it comes by KO, well, fantastic, so much the better. The most important thing is to give everything I can and show people here just what a French fighter can really do. Thank you, Segaline. Ellie, welcome. The time has come, the unification. It's what you wanted when you become world champion. A great fight on Saturday night. Uh, yourself, Segaline, Erica Cruz, Mercado, all great champions, and a chance to add another belt to the collection in Manchester. Yeah, for sure. As soon as I won the world title, you know, we sat down and the unification was what I wanted next. Uh, obviously, it was one fight in between, but all that matters is Saturday night and that's the next step and I'm ready to go. Do you study the opponents? I know Shane and the team will as well. I know you're a boxing fan, most likely watching Roberto Duran <laughs> and other fighters. On, yeah, she looks on, a bit different he, to Roberto Duran. <laughs> but you, you watched the action, you watched the fighters as well, studied the opponent for Saturday? Yeah, you know, me and Shane have sat down, we've watched her, and she's someone that I've looked at before, I even challenged for the World Cup, we tried to make the fight, but it didn't align, whereas, you know, we're fighting for more on the line on Saturday night. Obviously, in a lot of fights that you've had, you've been all action, very, very exciting, sometimes taking a few to land a few and, and give the crowd the excitement. Do you have to fight differently against the better level of opposition, or do you think that's where we're going to see the best of you? I think these are the fights you'll see the best of me, you know. Um, I've got a show side that I haven't in the fights previously and this is the fight that's going to bring it and I'm excited for you all to see. I know the plan is undisputed, not looking past Saturday, but potentially just two wins away from becoming undisputed at 122. It's a massive night for you at the weekend. Yeah, it's massive, but like we say, all that matters is Saturday, so that's what I've got my eyes on. Well, big unification, IBF, WBO, World Super Bantamweight Championships between Ellie Scottney and Segaline Leboeuf, a great fight as our co-main event in Manchester. When we talk about great fights, this is a great fight. I don't know how you can pick a winner in this fight. And the game and the sport would be such a better place if fights like this just happened all the time. Two guys that are right in line to challenge for the World Championship, two Brits who are just prepared to gamble on Saturday night to get that shot at the world title and to give us a great fight in Manchester. Zelfa Barrett, who came so close to winning the world championship against Rakimov in Abu Dhabi, gets a chance to headline in Manchester Arena. And the man to my right, they wrote him off after the Kiko Martinez fight. Talk about a second wind. Devastating performance against Mick Conlon out in Belfast to win as he looks to challenge for the super featherweight world championship as well. Zelfa, we'll start with you. Um, this is what you wanted for a long time, headlining in the arena. You've been to this place many, many times. Going to be a special walk on Saturday and a lot of people very, very excited about this fight. Yeah, man, you know, um, it's a dream come true. You know, thank you to yourself and the team. But, um, yeah, I've been running past this arena. I've been here when Kuala Box, Dallas Perez twice, um, Linares, Scott Quigg beat Kiko. You know, I've been around there, watched Hatton. So, you know, it's just like... Um, a little achievement for myself to, you know, headline. Obviously, both of you are sitting right there for a shot at the world title, but the winner of this fight, no doubt, should go on and challenge for the world title as well. Is that the reason that you wanted to take this fight? Obviously, the opportunity to fight in Manchester, but you just believe you've got too much for Jordan Gill? I believe, you know, he's a good fighter, he's got a good team around him, but I just believe I'm better than him in every single way, shape and form. That's just my opinion, that's what I believe. You know, um, he said he's going to knock me out, you know, Crazy, but yeah, man, we'll see. Obviously, we know you can punch, and he showed up in Belfast that he's punching harder at 126. Could be tactical. We know you're slick as well. Both of you can box and punch. You, you expect a, an exciting fight, one that potentially doesn't last the 12 rounds? I'm expecting a, I'm, I'm expecting a great fight. Um, he's a good fighter. He's got a new team around him, so you know he's got a few tricks up his sleeve. So I can just see what he com comes out and brings. And then I, I will adapt from that. But yeah, man, I'm expecting a good fight, but there's only one winner, and that's me. Believe in your power? Believe you have the, the power to hurt him? Yeah, of and course, no doubt. My left hook's crazy, man. Jeez, it's crazy, but you know, we're not relying on that, we're relying on hard work, dedication. But yeah, man, I've got the power to destroy him, but he's a good fighter. I'm not going to take that away from him, and I believe that, you know, he's going to be calculated. And, you know, but one winner is me. For both of you, the aim is just one thing to fight for and win a world title. Defeat puts you both a long way back. It's must win. A long Saturday. way. You know, that doesn't even cross my mind. I just think about what I'm going to eat after the fight when I won. Jordan, welcome. I kind of said earlier in an interview that 
you kind of just roll in the dice and it's you're free rolling at this point. I'm not sure whether you feel the same way, but a lot of people wrote you off after the Kiko Martinez fight. You stepped up. I remember Tony Bell, you came up to me in Belfast and honestly said, what do you think? I said, I think, you know, Mick Conlon's a big favourite here. He said, no, Jordan's going to do it. And how right he was, you were devastating in Belfast. And you see the media appearances, the interviews, your confidence seems to be on another level right now. You look super chilled, ready for a big night in Manchester on Saturday. The biggest of your career so far? Yeah, it is the biggest of my career so far. I am super chilled. We're having a good time. We had a good time in Belfast. We're having a good time in Manchester. Yeah, it's a good city. I'm just looking forward to fight, fighting and, um, yeah, rolling the dice again. I went to Belfast to box Condon, coming to Manchester to box um, Zelfa. So, long may it continue. I'm just enjoying myself and, and having a good time. Where has that confidence come from? You seem really calm in Belfast as well. You know, when you walked out, I couldn't make out if you were super confident or just there for the last fight of your career. It was the first. And again, here you just seem to have a real calmness about you going into this fight. Yeah, I feel very calm. Um, everything in my life is good now. I've, I've you know, got a good team behind me. I feel happy. I feel settled. 130 is, is making me live a normal life. I don't have to weigh everything that I'm eating for even in and out of camp. It's fantastic. So, yeah, I'm just happy. I'm in a good place and uh, ready to fight. It's going to be a great fight. Everybody trying to break down this fight, but nobody really sure which way it goes. You, both of you guys know your boxing. An interesting fight. Both of you can punch. Both of you can box. What are you expecting there on Saturday night? I'm a non-puncher ready. Um, I think it's going to be a great fight. It depends. It, it, there's a lot of... Uh, variables you know Zelf is very versatile he does a lot of things well he's got a lot of strings to his bow um, he's a good mover he can punch he's good on the counter um, yeah he's, he's very fast so I just, I just can't see a way that this fight isn't going to be exciting and that as a, as a boxing fan and a boxer myself you know, it just makes me excited for it. So I think there's going to be a bit of everything in this fight. There's going to be moments where it's cagey, moments where we're boxing, moments when he's pressuring, when I'm pressuring. Um, so, yeah, it's exciting. I think there's going to be blood and guts, and I'm here for it. Both of you guys back your power as well. I know that Barry was saying, you know, when I saw him in the change room after the um, Condon fight, he was talking about how hard you're punching right now. You've always been able to punch at, at 26, but it seems like... There's real word around the gym. I don't know if it's something in the gym with Lee Wood. You know, when he joined, sort of becoming a big, big puncher. We've seen AJ back to his striking best as well. But, you know, a lot of noise about the power that you're bringing into this fight as well. Imagine how much power I'd have if I got Barry to dress up as Spider-Man. I think we missed a trick there. Bad form him not doing it, to be honest with you. <laughs> um, yeah, I feel like I'm punching hard. I feel strong at the weight. Um, I'm developing. I think, you know, I turned pro so young. I had my debut seven days after my 18th birthday. And I, I feel like I'm a late developer. So now I'm, you're seeing the best of me. You're seeing the, the true Jordan Gill. I'm not restricted on my weight. I'm, I'm, I feel solid. So, yeah, I'm punching hard. And finally, the same question that I said to, to Zelfa, really. Just one aim, fight for a world championship, become world champion. Saturday's the focus, but must win. Must yeah, win. For yeah, for sure. For sure. If if the winner wants to fight, if if either of us want to fight for a world title, we've got to win this fight, and that's why it's so exciting because there's a lot on the line. It's a a fight that everyone's looking forward to because you know two Brits above British title level, above European title level, makes it exciting. There's there's a lot on the line for us both, and you know this is when the when the fight was put to me, I said yes straight away, not because I dislike Zelfa. Um, I like Zelfa. He's a good guy. I have respect for him. I have respect for his team. He's got a great team behind him. But when we get in the ring on Saturday, it, the person you're fighting isn't a person. They're just a target, and you have to go for that target. Well, 
tremendous domestic fight on Saturday. We say domestic. It really is a world-level 130-pound fight. Jordan Gill against Zelford Barrett will headline for a shot at the world title, Manchester Arena, live and exclusive on the zone around the world. We have a great fight card for you, of course. As we said before, the unification matchup, Ellie Scottney against LeBeouf. Rhiannon Dixon goes for the world title against Karen Carabajal, opening the broadcast as well. A banger with Gomez against Kane Baker. Steve Clark and Jack Turner representing Liverpool. Jordan Flynn here after his disappointment, ready and getting ready for the fight. Of course, with Cameron Vong. Jimmy Sainz looking to go 4-0. William Crawler in his hometown. And Brandon Scott, a.k.a. Spider-Man, is back. Don't miss all the action live from Manchester on Saturday night. We're going to face off the fighters now. Thank you. It's interesting, Darren, when you look at the dynamics...